Hi there. Now let's have a look on Windows updating. Microsoft is constantly fixing their product issues or bugs and they're making improvements to Windows 11 or Windows 10 operating system. And they're making those changes available as a free update. That's what we call as an update and we wanted to get those updates and those fixes so that the machine can be more secure. So you can click on start button and point to settings and a category called Windows Update. So when you click on check for update, you'll having here a button called check for updates. That's going to check for updates and in case if you have any updates are pending, that's going to download and it will be start installing. In this case, it has actually automatically downloaded and it is pending for reboot meaning it has installed uh, but after the reboot some of the updates gets installed and some of them first installs and wait for a reboot in this case it's just pending for a restart this update got installed as a cumulative update but it's pending for a restart and post to the restart only these updates gets installed that's how it's there and this has got failed the reason could be mostly with the 007 48 2 so with this error uh, one of the reboot if we could you know give it a try it gets installed and this entire uh, steps are fully automated you could use your WCS server or maybe a CCM or Microsoft engine to take over all these Windows update in your enterprise department but and students are for your personal use you must have to do it on your own but again this steps also fully automated based on the advanced options that which which is gonna look at your all the configuration options are fully automated and additional uh, thing would be if you want to you know, pause it you can always pause it by clicking here uh, for a specific period of time and Microsoft also releases some of the feature updates so that will stay as the additional component so you could you know use it uh, if it is available as the feature update uh, for Windows 11 and also you could join into the Windows Insider program so that the latest builds gets be will be deployed to your machine and so that you could try out new features that are are getting developed in within the Microsoft and that can be uh, tested on your machine of course if something goes wrong with that definitely it's gonna corrupt your system so that's why we always have to take the backup before we do this update it's a recommended uh, configuration now let's also have a look on update history this is gonna talk about what happened and whether it is a fail or success if so what is that update um, it was successful you would be you know, getting under update history and let's actually restart this machine because it's pending for a restart once it's restarted we would um no when we look at uh, one more time post the reboot by opening the settings and going to the windows update this time a couple of updates already installed and some of them are pending to install so now if you see earlier there could be no more updates now we have an option to install post to the reboot so i can either choose them for a pausing option for a week or a month or more than that or i could choose to you know click on install now so that it's going to install because it's already downloaded and it's going to install so post to that um, I'll get the update history here. This is how I can you know, find out whether it's successful or failed. All of that stuff I can find out with the Windows updates. And in case if you have a more and more computers, you could actually use something called delivery optimization or Devo option, uh, which, which will be uh, saving your bandwidth limitation. For that, you no need to do anything. Additional configuration, all you have to do is just the uh, enable so by default it will be enabling but you could you know configure additional configuration so that your lab machines or your office machines or within your home if you have a multiple machines it just downloads one time and within the 
uh, within that same update will be shared with other computers so that you are going to save that bandwidth and you can you know find out that uh, metering information um, into the delivery optimization reports point of view and we also talked about the feature and quality or driver updates so this is gonna um, give you any kind of you know additional updates that are available or released by microsoft for windows 11 in that situation it will be shown here let's see they could be after uh, one year there's an all set of new features windows 11 has been released with a new build then you could actually get it here as a feature update and you could you know uh, look into that feature update section and these feature updates are not automated you must have to install manually in fact this can be fully controlled with uh, group policies as well as with the uh, sccm and wsgs and microsoft intune configuration as the uh, point of configuration for your enterprise uh, devices we can check for um, other updates so if there are some kind of an updates it's gonna show you if you do not have any updates meaning it has installed all the updates that are required here and we could see the update history and coming back to the advanced configuration within the Windows updates would be if you just go to the advanced configuration you have something called active hours which will automatically determine or you could configure here from what time to what time the end user is working let's say if i'm working from 8 a.m to 5 p.m that's what um, that's what the time it's not gonna install any kind of updates so it's not gonna disturb me it will give uh, the entire that specific window or active hour window for my productivity so post to that it will start automatically installing the updates and downloading in the back end and it will all it will prompt for reboot also so you could you know adjust if you want you know manually or you could do it automatically so this automatically is a good option because it will discover during what time the user is active all of that stuff based on that it's going to adjust for you and uh, these configuration pretty much every configuration that you see in the windows update can be fully configured with the help of group policies or microsoft intune or sccm so that you could manage your enterprise devices i hope the short lecture is useful for you we'll catch you in the next lecture with a different topic